So this horse suffers from bug allergies and he gets these little welts and bumps all the time, just from fly bites, mosquito bites. Not all horses react like this, but this horse happens to have bug allergies. When we did his allergy panel, you can look in here, it's kind of lumpy and bumpy. He tends to break out on his neck, shoulders, and his midline. And a little bit here where the girth goes, he'll get a little bit lumpy here. And this is an allergic reaction to bugs. So it's not just bugs, it's kind of a double whammy. Okay, so this is the underside where the bugs really have a field day. If they have a bug allergy, even to noceums, flies, you can often get these open sores with quite a bit of swelling and it goes all the way down his midline and you can see they get open and raw and there can be quite a bit of swelling and this prevents because it's right here in the heart girth area the girth can really irritate and rub those if they're not treated you can see a little bit of white residue on there which is the treatment and i'll go over that in a second but this poor horse all down his belly his midline behind his front legs and it used to be his neck and his belly, his whole body would have these sort of open sores on it because he's highly allergic to house flies or barn flies and mosquitoes and noceums. He just has a lot of allergies. Okay, so this poor horse, now on his neck and shoulders and chest, he just gets the bumps, but he doesn't get the open sores. Because he has such significant allergies, the vet ran an allergy panel, which is done off of blood work. It's not too expensive. We found out about his allergies. He had some food allergies as well as the bug allergies. And I'm just managing the breakouts, but he started allergy shots that were designed specifically for him. And the series of allergy shots his first year go the whole year. He starts off with shots kind of close together and then they spread out and spread out more and more. Now he's down to his once a month shots, but that should build his immunity to help him cope with that allergy. The belly shot we did where he has the open wounds, one of the best treatments I found, I've tried a bunch of stuff. The only other thing that works almost as well is a product called SWAT. And I get the clear or the pink or the white, but SWAT is a little bit of um, fly repellent, and it's a, it's a creamy ointment, just like this ointment. This ointment that I'm now using when the sores get really bad like this is made by the vet. It's called a summer sore, summer sore ointment, or for habernemas. And it basically what they're mixing is um, like a desitin diaper rash type ointment with, um, uh, like a dewormer, like ivermectin, and also steroids. So it's the steroids that help with the itching so that they don't keep making it worse and reopening the sores. The desitin and the, well, the dewormer, like ivermectin, it just kind of keeps the flies away. And if there's any fly larva in there, it'll kill those. And then the desitin or the baby diaper rash ointment sort of creates a barrier, both for moisture and for the flies. So I just put a little bit on my finger, and then I do this once a day with him. And if they get really bad, the vet will also put him on oral antibiotics because that will also help clear it up when it gets really bad. So I just put a thin layer over any of the open sores and bumps. And I've gone through almost this whole little tub um, this month, and if I need more, I'm gonna keep treating these at least once a day, preferably right before the bugs are at their worst. So sometimes we have more nighttime bugs, sometimes we have more daytime bugs, but I wanna just cover all of these belly sores and rub it up and down the midline. And when we took the picture of how bad this looks on the video, you could see that white residue and how this sort of lingers there in between treatments. So it really sticks. And I'm just rubbing a thin layer, a little bit thicker if it's an open sore, but just trying to keep anything that's open and irritated. It's gonna really give him relief from the itchy and it's gonna keep the bugs 
from making it worse. And I just rub it off my hands everywhere. So I don't have to treat the lumps. Some people with your vet's um, instruction, especially on dosage, some horses can overcome a mild allergy with just Benadryl, but you have to check with your vet to see if it's appropriate for your horse and what the dosage would be for your horse, but it's regular people Benadryl. And then since he's on an allergy shot, which is customized for him, this is sort of his body working through the last of the allergies. Those open sores, he used to get them in the summertime on his neck, on his chest, and so learning to just keep them from getting worse is part of allergy management, right? So if any of these little bumps opened up, they would also get the cream anytime it, there's no hair. <laughs>